Hello everybody and welcome back to Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus where we are playing through the Freedom Chronicles. The last time we played we uh, did the introduction that introduced us to all the characters. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Uh, we did the introduction here for all the characters and now we are going to be doing uh, Gunslinger Joe's um, story. So let's go ahead and get into Take this. Take a look at Joe Stallion. That's me. Rookie quarterback for the Springfield Firebirds. Once a man living the American dream. Now I was a slave to the Reich. It was the end of a long, grueling season. Me and my teammates on the Ultramension team faced the elite Aryan All-Stars in the Uber Bowl. My script was already written. Never score, get roughed up, and make the right look good. It was either that, or slaving away, busting rocks in the Hillsboro coal mines until you croaked. So, we played the game. This was no longer a game. This was a puppet show. And I was done being a puppet. So I fired off that ball like an old pigskin. Arrest that man! and throw him into the coal mine. Enter Uber Commander Roderick Metza. I had heard stories about him. Stories from his dentist years. Stories that would make your heart race like a horse. Wait. He might still be of use to the Reich. In parts, that is. <laughs> Reich. Enough. Take him to research station Omega. Lights out, football man. As I slipped into oblivion, I heard the boiling anger rising from the crowd. But all I could think of was Metza's face. Where had I seen that face before? Hey, you! You dead pal? Well, here we are. Still here, buddy. Still here. Come here, pal. The fuck are hey, you? You're Gunslinger Joe. Man, the way you used to throw that pigskin. Well, I'm Eric, by the way. What about the game? You sure ruffled Uber Commander Metz's feathers out there, pal. Listen, if he's gonna cut you up. You... Shut up in there. Come and make me, chump. Listen, man. There's a revolution starting in America. So you gotta join the resistance, Joe. Help me bust out of here, then we head up to the top floor of the Oak Street Hotel, where the resistance is. We'll give you a place later. What do you say, pal? That's it. Remember, pal, Oak Street Hotel. Oak Street! This is a lesson, football man. Yeah. I wouldn't let Ares death go to waste. The lesson, football My man. My only chance was to escape this place and get to the resistance at Oak Street Hotel. Okay, well. I just had to play the game harder from now on. Play rough. So. Shot this dude. I'm not going to let his death be in vain. I knew him for two seconds. Alright, so. We're out. Ooh, shit. We're on a top floor cell, too, man. Laundry room. Let's take a look around. Ooh, we got some notes. Uber Bowl advertisement. Sunday, March 13th, 1960. Springfield Assembly uh, Stadium. RB Berlin versus FC Peoria. Come see the RB Berlin, the world's number one football club, in person. The world champions will take on UPFLA champions for the rights to be called the best team in the American territories. Attendance is mandatory for burger residents of the Springfield area. Failure to attend will result in severe penalties. Slaves are not permitted to uh, not permitted entry and must register for a work exemption to view event broadcasts. Huh. All right. Get a bit of armor on.
jokers in that one. <laughs> Opens elsewhere. There's just blood on the floor there. There's a soldier down there. There we go. Nobody's the wiser. Ooh. This is a place of secret horrors. I knew I had to get out quickly, or I'd end up like the rest of them. Prisoner's Diary Entry. Day 1. Not sure why they brought me here. Said it was for testing and I had great potential. Picked up three of us from the track straight from practice. Maybe they're considering us for the summer games? What an opportunity. Day 3. I'm used to being held by the Nazis, but this is getting ridiculous. They come in, take a blood sample, and leave. I a keep asking them where, uh, when we'll get to try out, but they don't answer. And I hear screaming from time to time. No clue what that's about. Day six. Still no answers and even more screaming. They finally said something to me. Said the final selection is tomorrow. Wonder if they'll let me on to the field. Well, the answer was no, because you're dead. It's the reason why you're sitting right here. Alright. Breaking through. Go ahead and grab everything we can grab. Commandant Metzer speaking, cell block 101. I have a specimen request. Prisoner 398, Joseph Stallion. Escort him to Laboratory 8C. In pristine condition. Yes, sir. Laboratory 8C coming up. Here I come. Nothing in there. Oh. How could you do this to someone? That guy's just crazy. Oh, this one has a window too. Just hitting his head against the wall. Bastards. They'll pay for this. Alright. So. Let's go ahead and... Peace, bitch. I think not, sir. Morning, There's no way out. We are secured in this room and we control all the locks. Okay. Didn't see that one, coming, did you? Dumb bitch. Okay. So, um, let's take a look around. See what we can find. Armor's maxed out. I don't know why I did that, but okay. Um, let's take a look to see if there's any of them with windows. What are they even trying to do here? The guy's just on the ground. He's very sad. You can still hear that guy banging his head against the wall back there. Opens elsewhere. Oh, there's a big thing. All right. Another one. Hello. Stay tight, man. I'll come back for you. How can you not coming back for the other people? <laughs> I'm coming back for this guy specifically. Got a bunch of shit there. Is that a note I can read? No. Stuff I can take though. Some more health. Alright, well. 
Before the Nazis took over America, Papa taught me how to shoot out on the farm. He said it might come in handy one day. How right he was. Reminder to all prisoners. Lights out is at 1800. No exceptions. Violators will be punished. Okay. See you later, bitch. Yes. They thought they heard something. They couldn't be sure. Well, I got one guy. Punch the dog. idiot so is it just like okay as I say so throw objects with extreme velocity regenerate armor no more falling to ground from blast waves tackle through certain walls so yeah it's just like the other ones where you just do stuff and then you Where are you? I've, uh, I've killed all of everybody now. Not as stealthy as I could have been. But it's now time to look around. I pick up some ammo. We came from here, uh, this is where we were. There was nothing else really in here. Actually, I can probably grab this ammo over here, can I? Yep, okay. So there's nothing else in there. Uh, let's see. It's all locked, it's all locked. Get that can back. It's 
a locked in here. That's just an open door. So all this is basically just locked. They just have like hospital beds. But what's it for? Hmm. Okay. Equipment. Health there. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and go upstairs. Check around these areas. Armor. Don't have very much pistol ammo. Nothing much there. There is a breakable wall here. Just pick it up, for God's sake. Uh, okay, so it just goes through to this nothing it's not like an actual like secret room or anything okay so nothing in there nothing in here just dead ass bodies this looks like a good place to hide some shit oh so we got a new grenade upgrade Nice pistol ammunition. Not too much, just a little bit, but a little bit's better than nothing. Get more assault rifle ammunition. Not leaving through there. Max down the cans. No notes. Kind of thinking that maybe there'd be some notes, but all right. Well, let's go ahead and go upstairs again. It's hard to. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes which ammo is which because it's all in kind of yellow boxes. All right. See, because it's like that's in yellow box and the pistol ammo is in a yellow box. Like, damn, man. Who would know what's what? We're going in here. That's for sure. Another health. Everyone, this is disgraceful, frankly. Did you actually fail to contain a stupid football player? Gold this bar. Apparently, oh, so the gold bar actually has some stuff tied to it. Uh, there's readables, the gold. Oh, okay, so we already missed one. It's kind of neat, though. And made a mockery of the right. I expect Gunslinger Joe in shackles by my team now. Well, you're not going to get it. Looking everywhere for me, but you're not going to get me. What was that? Nice, more pistol ammo. Is this supposed to end up like that. Laid so, on a slab, waiting to be harvested to create some monstrosity. Let me guess. They're basically probably this is what they're making the super soldiers out of. They want people who are already kind of like in shape. And they like want the best, the people who are the best of the best, to basically be super soldiers. Here we go. Metza's note. A memo from Uber Commander Metza, uh, March 6, 1960. Continue your search for the exceptional athletes. We will need them for experiments to come. You must find the secrets of their genetic abilities and harvest them to create the perfect sportsman. So far, our studies have proven fruitless, but persevere. The secrets hidden in their inferior genes will reveal themselves soon enough. Be sure to keep an eye out. Uh, keep an eye on the Uber Bowl. Protect, 
particularly this Joe Stallion. He must have something hidden inside his Ubermenschen blood. Untermenschen blood. Uh, so I guess they're just trying to make super, super sportsmen. That's what they're trying to make. I mean, I have entertainment, I guess. On these tables, though. We're gonna try to do these dual wield kills most of all, really. See, they all have yellow on them, which is why it's always confusing to tell which is which. Do it. More pistol ammo, more health. So that's where we're headed. There's a little bit more over here. Nice. So we're headed up these stairs. Killed a bunch of people, got a bunch of robots. Alright, so, yeah, you typically burn through ammo pretty quickly, dual wielding. Um, but I'm kind of fine with that, because, I mean, the more... So when you do the dual wielding kills, um, you get your total capacity for ammunition uh, is increased. So... It's always kind of nice to do this one first, because then you can carry more ammo. Just leads me through there. Just lead me to over here. Okay. Hooray! A shotgun. All right, so just we're just busting through walls, man. 
Anything over here? No. Set of stairs. Some more ammo, which is going to be useful. Ooh, there's something over here. Nice. Some gold. It's like a, another little comic thing. Oh, I missed another readable. Oh, well. Oh, this is going to give us the drum barrel for the submachine gun. That's good. Alright, so, we've done that. Oh shit! Oh, so this was that area I was at earlier when we were... Yeah, this is the area that we were at earlier in the introduction. What can I pick up here? Oh. Oh, this is that, uh, that's the upgrade for the better, for the more, like, the magnum type shot. No, you don't. There seemed to be no way out. Or was there? The metallic mutts in the hangar gave me a crazy idea. There we go. Open that. Uh oh. We got robots. Say, do I have two shotguns? Yes, I do. There we go. So we've done that now. Um, of course, we'll get even more from doing a uh, 50 more Jesus Well everybody's dead I think there's a max I think the max level is 3 for for these if I remember like um, I think that you level it up like three times and then that's like it. Okay, so this is where we came up from. Let's go ahead and kind of investigate this area here. See what we can find. Pistol ammunition, which is good. We're going to want that. I've already triggered that. I have the maximum number of grenades. Bodies everywhere. Nice. 
Dual wielding shotguns is probably like one of the most fun uh, parts of Wolfenstein, just because like these shotguns are badass. So <laughs> you end up like really just decimating uh, everything in front of you. So second floor, I want to check this place out too. more ammo, but is there any, like, readables, collectibles? It's kind of what I'm looking out for. Pistol ammunition is maxed. Okay. Uh, let's, oh. I should grab all this stuff, too, shouldn't I? All right, so we got everything there. Let's go ahead and check the bottom floor, see if there's anything down here. It's a gun just wedged. Another heavy gun. Nice, even more shotgun ammo. I typically, um... I typically don't use the heavy weapons all that often. Um, like, when you go back and you play through the game multiple times, you know, you can continue to upgrade everything um, like that you never did. I typically do that. That's what I do. I need a laser gun. I need a laser. Anybody got a laser? Need a laser. Does this guy have a laser? No, those are the punch guns. The fucking like weird shot type guns. Is this a laser? Yes it is. There we go. To take one of those dogs for a walk. These things are so fun. After the using Nazis it in New Orleans, they had the city on lockdown, trying to secure a dam about to burst. Good luck trying to fucking kill me, bitch. God damn the Illinois Nazis. Ha! <laughs> Woo! Over here, you can't hide from me. All right, so let's go ahead and park this at the gas station. Park my vehicle at the gas station here, and let's take a look around um, because. There's always something to be had, more than likely. It's kind of one of the things that if you never, um, like, when you get onto, like, a vehicle or something, typically you just kind of go through with the vehicle and then the level's over. But for me, I'm just like, oh, no, I want to, I want to actually, you know, Oh shit, I want to explore around, kind of see if there's anything I can 
Ich das Nusskracker! Made like to look like little soldiers. This level almost reminds me of the, uh, the Arizona level. But it's not the same place. The layout's like totally different, it has different buildings. I was kind of hoping I could go in the gas station. Yes, I can! I couldn't, we couldn't go in here to the gas station and, uh... Oh, there's just ammo. Oh, they just sell ammo here. Ooh, Terrabilly. Pinball, Elite Hans Pinball. Okay, so now that I've done that... Food market. Bulletproof glass at the food market. Ass thing. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get back on my uh, on my dog. I hate German cars. I don't really. Oh, we got another, another Panzer. Not anymore. Dead now. Oh, nope, he's almost dead. There we go. shot on this is like really far just burning them up burning them up picking shit around oh those those Parking meters are deadly. It's like a little classroom in here. There you go. Fried to a crisp. Well, I'm gonna have to park her here. Something about turning the Nazis' monstrosity against them felt poetic. I was getting attached to the pooch. Wished it was real for a minute. Right. When I thought about it spitting fire through my neighborhood, maybe it's better we had to say goodbye. True. All right. Oh, this reminds me of being back at the... Uh... The mental ho the well not mental but the uh, the hospital in the first Wolfenstein a little bit. Concerned residents note to Mr. Smith 37B. Thank you for reporting the loud noises from upstairs. That unit is home to a local theater troupe and they've been practicing for an important performance for the Uber Commander. Be assured that I've contacted the guests directly and warned them to keep the commotion to a minimum. As such, there is no need to ask for assistance from the authorities. We don't need any more trouble here than we've got. Again, do not alert the authorities. The problem has been taken care of. Oh! Son of a bitch. I mean, I really shot that dog to pieces. There's blood all over the gun now. There's just blood sprayed all over the guns from that dog's face. 
Hello? Oh! Look at this guy. Totally spread eagle, man. Should I? Oh boy. I was closing in on the resistance. A safe haven to rest up. See you later, guy. The Star Spangled Daily, excerpt from Sportsman's Companion, February 1960. The biggest surprise of the season so far was the play of FC Peoria midfielder Joe Stallion, whose hard-hitting play, determination, and leadership on the field helped Peoria secure its first UPFLA championship. Like many athletically inferior Americans, it's taken the second-generation athlete many years to adjust to the superior football, but it appears the next gunslinger has finally found his groove on the pitch. Be sure to keep an eye out on, his, on this dynamic player that would... Then when world champions RB Berlin crush the Untermenschen team in the Uber Bowl this March. Yeah, everything's just like rigged. It's not fun anymore at that point. Change this into this. Okay. Oh, cl uh, old like uh, old like U.S. Army stuff. Because you're shooting your own friends. See this? The shotguns really just destroy the holy hell out of them. Like I said, it's always the most fun to use the the dual wielding shotguns. That's probably the most fun out of all of it. What's in the bedroom? Let's see. Some delicious food. Another readable over here. Outlawed sports and activities. To the community, this is your final notice. All sports uh, but association football, classic, athletics have been banned by the Führer. Anyone participating in the following will be subject to penalty, including demotion. Baseball, football, basketball, lacrosse, and ice hockey. Jokes on you, bitch. You call it football. Oh, damn! Another gold bar. Sweet. I missed one. I missed two readables, but that's all right. Hi. to eat today heated meal we got pancakes we got some pie some chicken some corn i want uh i want the chicken and the corn please and i'd like i'd like that d uh what does that say didrick's cola i want one of those please i kind of want an orange juice too orange juice sounds good So they've really gone to barricading this whole fucking place. Oh shit. Uh oh. Joe, you almost missed your appointment. The doctor will see you now. Roderick Metza, you son of a bitch. Your fellow Americans, for Christ's sake, how could you? I'll tell you why. Oh. My ancestors were humiliated during the Civil War. I am the fruit of their humiliation. When the Germans came, I knew they were bringing justice and order for the white man. And now, here you are. 
a slave to the rush. Order has been restored. And Once so again, he said Reich. Anything to say before I seal your fate, slave? Yeah. Where do I know your ugly Nazi mug from? No. You know what? I'm not going to dirty my hands with this subhuman. I'm not even going to spare him a second thought. You finish him. In a flash, it finally came to me. Those cold eyes, that crooked smile. Metza was the same Nazi who took my father all those years ago. Woohoo! All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, we've uh, we've unlocked Volume 2. Uh, so next time on uh, Wolfenstein, we're going to do Volume 2 on the run. So, yeah, uh, stick, around, uh, stick around for that. And I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.